Hello, my dear students. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Today, our topic is How does God reveal Himself? In this lesson, you will learn how God reveals Himself. You will understand why we should learn the Old Testament, and you will understand the meaning of sacred scriptures. First, let's find out how God reveals himself through creation. Uh, if we refer to the book of Bible, the book of Genesis, God saw all that he had made and it was very good. We will understand that God spoke the earth and heavens into existence from nothing. He created and separated the land and the seas. He, he created heavens and all the living creatures that crawl and walk among the earth and those that swim and abide in the seas. He created the grasses, fruits, vegetables, herbs upon the earth. And in the end, he created a man and a woman and let them live on earth. So how does God reveal himself to us through sacred scripture? Do you know what sacred scripture is? Sacred scripture is a collection of ancient writings that Christians believe are inspired by God to reveal himself to us. So the example of holy scriptures or sacred scriptures in Christianity is the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. When we learn the books of the Bible, we get to know God better and get to closer to him. So how does God reveal himself through Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ lived about 2000 years ago. He taught about the kingdom of God and the laws of love. He healed the sick. To some religious leaders though, he was a troublemaker. He attracted crowds and associated with everyone, even outcasts. The Romans executed Jesus as a criminal when he was in his early thirties. After his body vanished from his tomb, some of his followers saw him alive, risen from the dead. They, became, they, they began a movement called the Way, now known as Christianity. And today, more than a billion people believe that Jesus is God and try to live by his teachings. So why should we learn the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament? Since the Bible is God's word, studying it is a way to know God better. Through his words, we come to know not only the nature and attributes of God, but we also come to understand his plan for each of us. Okay, class, it's all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.